Nice Terry here D Lab with an NC183. Hear that hum? That hum is there regardless of whether I turn the AF gain up or down. This is a problem I've seen in many of the national receivers. Let me show you what's causing it. So here we are, the SIC 183. I've got my AF gain all the way down. Now watch what happens when I move this 6SJ7 tube. You hear that? It's microphonic. And yes, I did check the tube socket. It's not the socket causing the problem. To further verify that it's not a tube issue, I swapped these two tubes. So now the one that was here is over here. Now look. You hear it? The issue's still there. So what I find on these nationals is that all the old carbon resistors just skyrocket in value. They'll be triple what they should be. In this receiver I found several resistors that were wide open yet the receiver still operates. It's amazing. I don't know how they did it. But that's what we got going on here. So let's go underside and I'll show you where the problem is. So this is V11, the first audio amplifier. You can hear my noise. Once again, I cannot turn it down with the AF gain. It's just noise on the receiver. So watch how sensitive it is in this area. So you can see about everything I touch down here. Especially this one meg resistor. Very sensitive. So let's measure those resistors. So I'll prop my meter up so you can see my readings. Here's the one meg resistor. You can see it's way out of tolerance, 1.4 meg, let's say. Now let's move over to this 100K resistor. I'm going to do this quickly enough without boring you. All right, we'll range down. There's my 100K resistor, and it's at 138K. Now let's move over to this 2.2K resistor. See how he measures. Range down. You can see he's about 5.6K. And then over here, we have a 470K. And he, as you can see, is way out of tolerance, about 1.5. 4 meg. In other words, every resistor on this audio amplifier tube is bad. So we're going to change them all out. So as you can see here, somebody has already changed out many of the capacitors. That saved me a lot of work. But they failed to check the resistors. I've been going through here piece by piece, changing out the way out of tolerance ones, which I find in every one of these national receivers. Okay. This is not a fluke deal. This is common on all these old national receivers that those 10 and 20% uh, resistors, especially the carbon ones, are way out of tolerance. Well, here's the four resistors. We're going to go in here and replace them all on the socket. My best piece of advice is do one at a time. So I have the new resistors installed. Here's my AF game. And as you can see, tapping on that socket that was so sensitive, the hum's gone. So that problem is fixed. However, this receiver has many more. So this is part of restoration. So my best advice is, if you pick up one of these old national receivers like this, and you've got a bunch of little quirky problems, get underneath, take a look at all the resistors, especially the ones with the yellow bands. You'll have a little surprise. They're not difficult to change, it's just time consuming. I hope this helps you out.